you want to buy cheap and reliable MT, go check out dvdj.com and use code WITNESS for 5% off your purchase. Yo, what's good guys? Witness2k back on NBA2k19 My Team with another prize pack pack opening video. You guys always love these. You guys always show a ton of love on these videos. So before we go any further though guys, do me a quick favor and everyone smash that like button right now and make sure you have all subscribed to the channel. We are on the grind to 40,000 subscribers. Super pumped for that, so do that for me. Smash that like button to get things started. Hit the subscribe button if you are new. Now I haven't opened all of the bronze, silver and gold packs because there's just so many because I have been playing a lot of triple threat. But we do have a lot of nice packs in here. We have a 20th anniversary Giannis pack. We also have a 20th anniversary Kobe pack. We've got a draft pack right there. We've got a few diamond packs. Another draft pack. Throwback Elite pack, which is pretty cool. What else do we have in here? That might be just about it. More di That's pretty much it. But if you see in the top right hand corner, we have 90k MT and nearly 50k VC. So with these new packs that came out, I thought we're going to open up some singles. Probably won't open those because they are a bit of a waste. But the fan favorites, I'd like to open some of them. The throwback super packs, they seem to be pretty juiced. Also, the duo packs, of course. Maybe, maybe next gen because that Trey Young apparently is still selling for like 400k. Some 20th anniversary super packs. So, a ton of type of packs we're going to be able to open. I'm just going to go through, open them down the line. Start it off with a Giannis pack. I mean, I even the pink diamond Giannis doesn't sell for much. We're only going to get an emerald out of it. That that makes sense, to be honest. So we're going to have some packs for free, and obviously we're going to pay for some. I am expecting to pull a couple opals, you know, or I would like to pull. It would be cool if we could get some free ones. We'll see which are free. We've got a diamond right there. We'll see which opals we get for free, which ones we have to pay for. But I mean, I'm obviously, before 2K20, which is right around the corner, I don't want any MT. I don't want any VC. If I do, I'll probably just give it to you guys if you guys aren't going to get, if some of you guys aren't going to get 2K20 until like Christmas or something like that. But 2K20, man, it is it is just around the corner, under a month away, I think. Actually, it might be just roughly a month, I'm not too sure. In the, So the 20th anniversary packs, yeah, they had terrible odds. We get two Emerald players in the Giannis and the Kobe pack. We got three Diamond packs right here with either shoes or contracts. Never pull the Kobe AD mid white, of course. We get a CP3, I think I can sell that shoe for about 5k. I never, I, I never search shoes to see how much they sell for, they just take too long. I just put them off for bids because it's just way easier to, to be honest. But seriously, I've seriously never pulled a pair of white Kobe 80 mids and I would really like to before 2k20, but it's highly unlikely I think. But what I was also thinking is with these prize packs, do you think 2k are going to do triple threat? for 2k20 I hope they do we get a contract that's a W are they going to continue triple threat are they going to continue locker codes with the ball drop out everyone can type in the lock code I hope they do I just hope that the rewards are more worth it for locker codes I mean those the lock the lock the this day in histories they're just not worth it like they're just not that great of players but hopefully to like you think of locker codes from the year before you know when you could get Pink Diamond, Ben Simmons, and you know all the guys that have won the awards. And the year before that, there was like Pink Diamond Westbrook for winning the MVP. They were good cards, but obviously they were only dropping like 200 per console. So that's what obviously made it unfair. That's why I like locker codes like we're getting right now. Just sort of want the rewards to be better. So comment below, guys, what you think. Would you like locker codes how they are right now, or do you want them to go back to their old ways? It's up to you guys. I like them how they are now. I just need some better rewards in them. We get an Amethyst Throwback Elite. I don't think they're going to sell for anything because of the throwback packs that have been out for months now. They've been out for so long. And we're going to get an Amari Stoudemire. It's a shame it couldn't have been the Pink Diamond, but you know it is what it is. I don't even think the Pink Diamond sells for that much. So we've got one more Diamond pack here. Really nothing good out of, our, out, out of my prize packs, but I didn't have too many. We get PGs, yo. Those are actually that's actually pretty nice. We'll get a couple K out of that, unless I want to use it. But that's actually a really good shoe. But I think we're gonna have some more luck dipping into the pack market and seeing what we can get in there. We'll start it off. We'll spend. We'll spend out. 
We'll spend our VC first, open up some fan favorites. These packs are pretty nice, you know, we could get like a quick KP maybe. I think he still sells for a decent amount. We get a pink diamond pool. I don't think Isaac sells for much, but it's not even going to be him. It's going to be a Raptor shooting guard, Vince Carter. Ra oh, it's a signature series. Was he really a fan favorite this year? Not many people seem to really mess with the Vince Carter. I mean, even the Opal, people just really weren't that into Vince. We'll take a quick dip into the duo packs. You already know these odds are hella freaking nice. Hella nice. Can we get a quick Opal? Maybe. I think it's a diamond. It's a ruby. It's a ruby. Because these duo packs are really juice. Well, at least they normally are. I'm going to keep opening them until we hit an Opal. That's what I want. I want to get, we're going to get at least one Opal pull. And we got one just like that. We get our first Opal pull. I mean, KD is just the only one that I feel as though is worth it. Comment below if there is any more expensive Opal than Kevin Durant, but I think he's the only one that goes for 100K plus. We're going to get a Boston Celtics small forward. Is that freaking John Havlicek again? Oh my God, I swear I pulled him in my last pack opening video. We're going to see if we can go back to back Opals. That would be hella crazy if that could happen. Can you do it to me too? We did. We actually, oh. The purple glow. Because if you see on the side of the cards, you can see what it's going to be. I saw purple, thought it was going to be another opal. Still got plenty of MT to spend now. And I did want to test out these super packs. Giannis is in here. You know, Giannis is a hella nice card. I wouldn't mind pulling one of him real quick. But we get a quick freaking ruby. I think Giannis is one of the most expensive cards in the game. I'm pretty sure he still sells for 200 plus K, which is awesome if you can pull him. Can we get an opal? Just these odds, man, I do not trust these odds. They've shown me zero love all year round. I really don't want to go out with our only Opal pull being John Havlicek because that is, that is an L of an Opal. For an Opal, it's an L. So we need something better. A quick Trey Young, maybe? Oh my God, a bronze player for 10K. We'll see if the deluxe pack is worth it. If we pull an Opal, even if it's Luca, the dub. But we're going to need an Opal 2K. I'm going to need an Opal 2K. It's a freaking amethyst. L. L opening those packs. Shouldn't have done it. We're going to probably spend the rest on the duo packs because it's our best chance at an opal and the best cards are really in here. So I think that's probably the best move and we got one. I'm pretty sure. Yes, we did. That is our second galaxy opal. Give me KD, man. Give me someone expensive so I can sell them and make another video. It's going to be Mello. Melo has, yeah, Melo's got a duo with Kobe, I believe. So we pull a Melo, so we do pull a dub Opal. Pretty sure I don't have this Melo. I don't think he's even on my, he's not even on my squad anymore. So I think I did sell him, but our Melo is definitely a good pull. So we do end up taking a W with a Galaxy Opal Melo. We're going to go for one more, like this video, for some pack luck. You already know what do you do. Diamond, man. It's just, you just, I mean, I barely even get high for Opals anymore. Unless they're new, which I don't think 2K going to drop any more new ones. I'm pretty sure the fan favorites were definitely the way to end that. But, yo, I just got some crazy nostalgia pulling this Diamond T-Mac. He led my team back in the day of, like, two months ago. He was the leader. He would drop 40 on anyone. That card was a beast when he was new. So I sold a couple things so we could open up one more dynamic duo pack. We're diving into it right now. If we could end it on an opal, it would be perfect 2K. Three opal pulls. It's an amethyst, bro. I just, I'm not going out like that. I need one more opal, I can't lie. I need one more galaxy opal. So I bought a quick 200K. I did it for you guys. I did it because you guys want to see more Opal pulls. I know you do. So you have to like this video right now for me. And you have to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Diving into a 10 box and note. There we go. Like I said, you have to like and subscribe. Do it. Do it. I did this for you guys. And if you liked the video, of course, you already know you're going to get pack luck. That's just how it works. You like my videos. It gives you pack luck. Looking like LeBron. Looking like Kyrie Irving. We will take that. I think the last one of him, I pulled him in, I think, my last video as well. I only got about 20-something K from him, I think. He's pretty cheap. For a Galaxy Opal that good, really cheap. Back to back. Yo, this is just how I do it. Boxes show me love, though. I've got to give him that. Back to back Kyrie's. All right. <laughs> we get back to back Galaxy Opal Kyrie Irvings. It is what it is. You know, I can't complain with that. 
In our eighth pack, we get another Galaxy Opal. Three Opals in one box. That's pretty nice. A 10 box, consider it. And we're going to get a Michael Jo... No, a Derrick Rose. Does he have a... He does. I wasn't sure if he had a duo or not, but he does. Yeah, we'll take a quick D Rose. That's a hella nice card. I don't use him anymore. But when he, when he first came out and I used him, really nice, especially that mid-range. So we got enough, we got enough VC to open up. We're gonna open up one of these because I do want to see if I can pull a Giannis. I'll show you guys what we get in the first pack, but other than that, I'll just skip to see if we can see if we can pull any more opals. I think we've pulled like five or something like that. Bro, it's raining down opals right now. I'm loving it. Uh, this was a prize pack pack opening. Hawks player. I guess that's Dominique, right? The new Dominique. Yo, I hope he has some value. I really do. But this was a prize pack pack opening turned into just a normal pack opening. I just was not satisfied with the opals we pulled. We needed more. And we got more. I think we got like six. Pink diamond right there. You guys don't care about pink diamonds. Opals only. We got another opal, guys. Just a quick update. I think this is I seriously lost count. I think we put like seven so far, which is amazing. Will not complain with that. Lakers Opal, throwback elite point guard. Magic Johnson, of course, it would have to be. We get a quick Irving Magic Johnson right there. I, yeah, I don't know his value. I do not know it, but I do already have that magic, so that's just going to the auction. Final pack coming up. Can we clutch one more Opal? We can! We can get one more. I think it's eight. Give me Giannis 2K. You know you want to. It's a Spurs. Point guard. I guess it's Tony Parker. It is Tony Parker. I already know he sells for nothing. So that is extremely hard to get hype over. We pull something like eight opals. I seriously have no idea how many. Like I completely lost count. But that was a lot more successful than I expected it to be. So I'm going to send magic to the auctions. Kind of thinking about giving away some opals soon too, guys. So you want to be on the lookout for that. But that is it for the video, guys. I'll open up a couple more of these duo packs. Shout out to this video goes to Campbell Giles or Gills. I'm sorry if I got your last name wrong, bro. But shout out to you. I do appreciate you for watching the video. I appreciate all you guys for watching this video. Like I said, we are on the grind to 40,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, make sure you do it now. But I thank you all again for watching this video. It's been witnessed.